Hey guys, Mr. B here. Now, we know how to mentally calculate percentages like 10%, 25%, and 50%. But what about percentages like 15% or 35%? They're a little bit trickier. I had this exact same problem a while ago when I was ordering this sweet jacket. Ah, oh, this sweet jacket. Oh, I really like that one. Oh. Oh, hey guys, I was just shopping for a jacket and I found this awesome one online, on sale. Its original price was $80, but it's 35% off. Now, this is a bit tricky for me to work out in one step in my head, so I'm going to work it out using a few smaller steps instead. Let's see what it's worth. I can start by finding 10% of 80, which is easy, it's eight. Next. I find 20% of 80. And all I need to do is double the eight, which is 16. To find 30% of 80, I just need to add eight more, which is 24. So I've found 30%. But what about the remaining 5%? Well, that's pretty simple too. 5% of 80 is half of 10% which would make it four. So if 30% is 24 and 5% is four, then to find 35%, I just add them together. 35% of 80 equals 28. My discount is $28. Okay, so now all I need to do is to subtract this from the original price and I know how much I'm gonna pay for this sweet jacket. So my sale price is my original price minus the discount, which is 80 minus 28, which gives a sale price of $52. What a bargain for such a sweet jacket. Oh, I bet I'm gonna look awesome in this jacket. Ah, those were the good old days. So next time you're faced with working out a tricky percentage, try using smaller and simpler percentages instead. And maybe you can bag a bargain like this sweet jacket.